Seizures and how to help. Part one. This is a brain. We've all got one inside our head. Your brain is a bit like the boss of your body. If you were to look at a brain really closely, you'd see that it contains lots and lots and lots of neurons, which is a type of cell that loves to send electrical messages. Groups of neurons that send messages to each other are called neural networks. There are neurons in your body too, spread from your head to your toes, sending messages around your nervous system. If your brain gets unhappy, perhaps because you have been sick or hurt, its neurons can get a bit cheeky and start to send too many electrical messages. This is called a seizure and it can stop your brain from working properly. Any brain can have a seizure. In fact, one in every 10 people will have a seizure at some time in their life. Just like the people that have them, Me. not all seizures look the same. It will depend on where in the brain those cheeky neurons are located. Sometimes a seizure will only happen in one part of the brain. This is called a focal seizure. If a seizure happens in part of the brain that controls movement, then a person might move their body in ways that they can't control. Other seizures might be caused by cheeky neurons in the speech centres of the brain, causing someone to make sounds or say things that don't make sense. And some seizures can happen in areas that control seeing, smelling or hearing, making a person sense things that aren't really there. Sometimes, cheeky messages can spread from one part of the brain across the whole brain. When this happens, it's called a generalised seizure. Generalised seizures overload the brain with electrical messages, so the whole brain stops working properly. It's a bit like when a computer crashes. Some generalised seizures can make a person appear to be daydreaming or staring into space. Other generalised seizures can cause a person to make sudden movements or fall to the ground and sometimes they will start shaking. Seeing somebody have a seizure can be a bit scary, especially huh? if you don't know how to help. Would you know how to help if someone around you had a seizure?